Hello to you, these travelers, and welcome back to the best Karuma channel here on YouTube. Back on the best player Karuma series, Okoro Chimwenwe. Of course, he is now a gunner. Ladies and gentlemen, Okoro Chimwenwe is in the Premier League with Arsenal. We have a few new mods on, ladies and gentlemen. A couple new mods. If we go to Edit Pro and take a look at Okoro Chimwenwe, you can see he's now uh, has a little poppy on the center of his kit. A nice little mod added there. He's also winter, and he has some gloves, ladies and gentlemen, some Adidas gloves. He also has some new boots. He's signed a deal with Nike and has these fresh new Nike boots. So a lot of new cosmetic mods are about, ladies and gentlemen, as we kick off today's episode with the North London Derby against the Spuds. We have United. Uh, we also have them in the Carabao Cup as well. We have West Ham in the month of December. It's going to be a fun one, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comments down below, by the way, which team do you think should be the target team? Because Arsenal want 99 slide tackles. Even if we make it all the way down, it's still 35. I don't think he's going to get that. I would love Okoro to stay at Arsenal for like three or four years. This game is awful, though. And this contract, this contract system is awful. It's absolutely rubbish. So if they don't sign him because he doesn't get slide tackles... It's awful, but he may be leaving, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Real Madrid are a doable team, that's for sure. Uh, we also have teams that want him, like Bayern Munich, Marseille, and Chelsea. Some decent teams in there as well. So, let me know in the comments down below some teams you think would be good to keep an eye out for, ready for next season, just in case Arsenal do not sign him, ladies and gentlemen. Let's dive right in. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Reminder that this video is sponsored by Regents Pro Wrestling, the number one wrestling show in sports entertainment, the most action-packed, immersive, and entertaining show on all of YouTube. Watch live every Monday and Friday right here on the Regents Kid YouTube channel. And remember this. I love those little cosmetic mods. You have the poppy on the chest. That you know, you always wear, uh, wear the poppy. You have the little Adidas gloves now. We have uh, mods coming thick and fast. OC10 lining up for the North London Derby. Ladies and gentlemen, Sky Sports. He has the turtleneck and the long sleeves out because it is winter. Everyone has the long sleeves now. And let's be having you live at the Emirates Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. Okura, early start. He is playing left wing, of course. Arteta loves playing him on that left-hand side. He cuts into his right foot. Two pairs, my players, playing off against each other today. Diego Alejandro Gomez, he's that man right there. Alvaro Barbero. Uh, Football Life 24 will be coming back to the channel next year, ladies and gentlemen. I want to give Okora time by himself. The Okora and Manager Reputation Challenge are going to be the two main series to end off this year. And then starting next year, we're going to bring back Football Life 24, which we haven't played before. We've only done Football Life 23, so an updated Football Life, become a legend series, which will be fun. We're also going to have our fully modded uh, FC24 player career mode after Okoro as well. Barbero, no one wants to tackle him, apparently. I was talking that entire time, the Spuds captain. Speaking of Football Life, he's, I think it was a PES 20 or PES 21 player career mode. No one wanted to tackle him. And Spuds take the lead. But yeah, next year, a lot of new series are coming. A lot of exciting series are coming. And it's going to be a lot of fun, ladies and gentlemen. Let's lock in and let's get a goal. Okoro dominating. This right back in the box again. Right in front of the keeper. Keeper saves, though. Odegaard. Diego Alejandro Gomez. No. Oh, don't let the Spuds fans sing their rubbish song that they stole from Southampton at the great stadium of the Emirates. Please, I don't want to hear it. Is that Nuno Tavares, by the way, former Arsenal man? What a traitor. Well done by Kayo Saka. Alejandro Gomez. Drag him in. Not the best of passes to Okoro. Saka keeps it alive. Drag him in. Jude. Erdegaard. Okoro. Oh, my goodness. Slide tackle. There's one. There's one. Drag him in the box. Terrible cross, though. To Theodore. One more. To Okoro. Into Bakayo Saka. Touch and shot. Off the post. Love the football from this Arsenal team. It's been a revelation playing for this Arsenal team. I want to see Okoro stay, man. It's been, honestly, the most fun of this entire series has been playing for this Arsenal team. They're so good. But because of 99 slide tackles, it's looking like they probably won't re-sign him, which is so stupid. It really is. Okoro with a header. Oh, my God. And he scored. Didn't expect him to score there, I'll be honest with you. Okoro. The, the Adidas gloves look so cold, by the way. They look so cool. I've never had that. I've seen that mod before. Adidas gloves. They look amazing. Lovely ball by Saka. Great header by Chim Wemwe. 1-1. One, one. Half time 1-1. One, one. Plenty of time to get the go-ahead goal in this one, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd are feeling it. I mean, it's North London Derby. They, they better be feeling it. Barrow, the goal scorer. The captain is always a danger man for the Spuds. 
Always a danger, man. Oh, my goodness. Dragomir. Been a bit quiet in this one. TD. Not really got too involved just yet. Odegaard, Jude. Chin Wenwei. Pushing it out left to Sousa. Back into Dragomir. Could come on more to Okoro. No, he goes to Jude instead. They both made the same run. They was both there. And Jude can get the goal right in the 60th minute. 2 1 Arsenal. We are top of the league. We are not unbeaten anymore. We're not going invincible. Uh, we have lost a couple games off camera. I think one was to Burnley, which was outrageous. Um, so we're not going invincible, but we're still top of the league. Looking for back to back Premier League titles is Okoro Chim Wenwe. Okoro, nice tackle. And he's kept it on as well. Up to Theodore Dragomir. Odegaard. Oh, unlucky. Oh, that's not a slide tackle. That is not a successful slide tackle. Oh, my goodness. Edge of the box. Evan Nielsen. Shot is blocked. Rebound. No handball. Ramsdale was diving all over the gaff. Over on the left-hand side. Looking for Bellingham. The go-ahead goal scorer. Gets tackled and gets fouled. 83rd minute. Okora getting booked. No chance. He's subbed off after that as well. We were leading 2-1 and we continue to lead 2-1. North London is red, ladies and gentlemen. Let the comments hear it. Oh, this black kit is so nice. Bro, I would not be mad if these kits became real in real life. They look so, so good. Leeds, welcome Arsenal to L Green. Okay, it's not it's not the bad Greenwood. I had to be scared. Then he's white, so... Oh, so it's... Dragomir up top. Odegaard's left forward. Okora right forward. Saka left mid. Reese James right mid. Diego Alejandro Gomez Jude. And then three centre-backs. Very interesting from Arteta. I kind of like it. Very attacking. This is the formation I was playing on uh, Gunners Glory. Actually, for, for Football Manager 24. This is the formation I was playing, I just realised. In the box, looking for a cutback. Lays off Greenwood in the box. Good tackle. As long as we're good defensively, that's all that matters. Because I feel like with this formation, we have a lot of players going forward. Okoro with the tackle. Best defensive team. Are they talking about us? I'm assuming they're talking about us. Martin Odegaard. Oh, what a ball! I thought it was going a bit further back. Reese James up to Okoro. What a turn. The only problem is no one right now is in the box. He gets to cut back. No. Saka keeps it alive, though. Diego Alandro Gomez blocked. Penalty. Thank you very much. Okoro's on it. Oh! Normally, it's Theodore Dragomir. Don't know why Okoro Chimwemwe's on pens, but he will take it, ladies and gentlemen. He will absolutely take it. What a penalty. What a goal. 1-0 Arsenal. Dragomir sharing penalties with Okoro. Now we take it. Greenwood, slide tackle. For Chimwemwe. No way is that a foul, ref. He needs 99 of them. Come on. <laughs> Okoro on a run. So Reese James cutting in. He has Odegaard in the box and uses him. Turn and shot on his left. Good save, keeper. OC ball in. Theodore Dragomir. Oh, what a header. Yeah, he's better than Erling Haaland in every way. In every single way, he's better than Erling Haaland. Goal and an assist. Two set-piece goals as well. We're flying. The, the league's ours. The league is ours. And the next year, well, again, if we, uh, if we stay, he gets Champions League football. But if he's kicked out of the team, it would be unfortunate. This Arsenal team can win the Champions League. I really do. So, it would be such a shame if uh, Okura Chimami does not re-sign next season. But again, it's out of his hands. It really, there's no way. Like, even if he tried to get 99 slide tackles, it's impossible for, for an attacking player. It's impossible to get 99 slide tackles. It's The contracts, they're so stupid. They really, really are. Even a centre-back is not getting 99 slide tackles in a season. Let alone a cam slash winger. Even a centre-back's not doing that. But we just do whatever the game puts in front of us. You know, if it is uh, changing teams every single season, it is. If not, it isn't. You know, we, we, we just got to do whatever the game allows us to do. And I don't like this system. Hopefully, they don't keep it for the next uh, FC 24, uh, you know, 25 game. They probably will, though. But here's hoping they don't. I don't know. Can someone answer me in the uh, comments, actually? So, we when you do play a career mode, I need to test this, actually. When you do play a career mode... Because what we normally do, the first one is normally play a career mode and you create a player like Okoro. The second one, normally, like Hugo Ortega, I create the player first, I add them to the team, and then I do use real player. Now, can someone let me know in the comments down below? If you choose use real player, I might test this actually. Do you still get the same contract options or is it like the old FIFA where random teams can offer you contracts and you can choose to be transfer listed because you're using a real player? You're not creating a player, if that makes sense. If you, so if you create them first... And then click use a real player. Because that's what we're going to do for our our fully modded series after Okoro ends. 
So maybe that's a way to get around the contract stipulation. I'll, I'll, I'll test it out after this match. Let me know as well, or after this episode. Let me know in the comments as well. Does that work? Oh, where's this counter going then? Jude sees Okoro running. Plays in front of him. Sees Dragomir running. Ah, bad pass. Okoro Chinwenwe opening up his body. Oh my god, it was on target. <laughs> Good pressing by TD11. I love this from the boys. Well done, Botman. Up to Chinwenwe. Who's going to cut back. Play through Martin Odegaard. You have Saka on the left. You have Dragomir down. Uses TD11. Over to Reese James. Touch and pass to Okoro Chinwenwe. Ball into the box. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, they're panicking. They are panicking. Oh my goodness gracious me. What a tackle. <laughs> Four-time whistle, we take a 2-0 away win, goal and an assist for OC10. One step closer to the Premier League title. Man City drawing at home. Oh, I don't miss that team in the slightest. Emirates Stadium looks beautiful. That West Ham kit. Ooh, a little gradient on the West Ham kit. I like it very much. Now, West Ham were doing very well last year. And they were also inquiring, I heard, via uh, Fabrizio reports on Twitter. They're, they've been acquiring about Okoro Chimwenwe in the past couple of seasons, so I, I want to see how they play. I want to see if they suit Okoro Chimwenwe because they've been uh, they've been talking about potentially making a move for the Frenchman. Okoro can clearly play on the wing now as well, so if a team needs a winger, oh my goodness, they could go in for him. Oh, down line, down line! Ethan Laird, lovely tackle. I think that's Giovanni Reina, I'm assuming, the Borussia Dortmund player. Up on the right-hand side. Cutting into Scott. Kuro, one-on-one -on -one dribbling. Can he get past the defense? Cutting in and cutting out. Lays off Jude Bellingham. One more for Dragomir. Oh, my goodness. Keeper just stood still. It just hit off him and he saved it. The way we press teams is beautiful. We make it so hard for them to get out of their own half. For the majority of the game, it's incredible. Chin Wenwei. Odegaard. D-A-G. Kuro made the run. No one saw him. Jude. Gomez. Saka referee, thank you very much. Jesus. Who's on the free kick is the question. It's a bit of Okoro. He's had a couple free kick chances recently. Not been able to score them. That one over the wall. And that one's in. Okoro. Chim Wemwe, you naughty. Naughty man. That was cheeky. At his finest. Oh, what a free kick. That's why he has 95, 95 free kick accuracy, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. It's about time he starts scoring. So, pfft, forget about it. Scoring, he's assisting. The team is winning. Oh, this art is so much better than when he was at Man City. I'm so happy the save got lost. Lofted up to Okoro, who can touch inside and does. Can't quite escape from the defense, though. Goes up to Saka. Odegaard. Back to Bukayo. Odegaard. Jude. Okoro's just lurking edge. No one's passing to him. They're avoiding him. It is only 1-0. I'm not fully confident in the result right now. What a cross in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's like the olden, olden days when Arsenal... Oh, those are like two OG kids right there. Arsenal in blue. Man U in... Uh, Arsenal in red, sorry. Man U. Who remembers Man U used to have like the classic blue kit? It looked just like that. Arsenal United. Here we go. I love that they have the Devils logo too instead of the uh, Man U logo. What a way to end up an episode. Well, look, we've been at the Emirates most of the episode today, but I'm not mad at it at all, late, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not be getting too flashy now. Arsenal take on Manchester United, an OG uh, Premier League rivalry. Uh, some say this is, a, you know, this is a better rivalry than Arsenal-Tottenham, which I, I do hear because the amount of times these two got into fights and, uh, you know, winning league titles and being the best teams in England, it all comes down to Arsenal and United, two of the biggest teams in England. So uh, the rivalry is still cut deep to this day. Of course, in real life, United are dead these days. But uh, in this world, Okoro vs Okubu, ladies and gentlemen, to spice it up. His Florian Herve through ball. Saved by Ramsdale. Brian. Is that Brian Gill? I don't know. Of course, they have Florian Herve. Madison with the shot is blocked. Yeah, United look up for it. So far this episode, none of the teams have looked up for it. United, though. Yeah, they're giving us a game, and I like that. I like some competitiveness. I like some challenge. Florian Herve. No one can touch him. He's like Ronaldo. Lays off Madison. Finally gets a tackle in. Hey, let's see what Okoro can do. Oh. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Okubu said no. Give me a tough game. Just based on this start alone. 
It's going to be a very, very tough game. We can barely hold the ball in this match. United are... I mean, we knew United were decent, to be fair. Old oh, Bramo Kubu can't keep up with Okorachin. When were you goes for goal? First real chance. Good save, keeper. Oh, again, why is Dragomir on corners? He's such a good header of the ball. It makes no sense. Okura wins that one, though. Rolls reversed. Half-time, nil-nil. Battle of the Giants, and no one is giving an inch. Oh, my God. North London Derby on Christmas Day. Goodness gracious me. That is some prime-time television right there. Press him, Sax. Press him, Bakayo. Get into him, Odegaard. Come on. Win that ball back. Help him out. DAG, no. Oh, United are passing all around us right now. What a through ball. Brian, I think that is Brian Gill. Oh, he's trying to do Reese James. No, no, no. Okura, lovely touch. Up to Dragon, who's done nothing so far this game. Okura trucking in. Oh, lovely back heel. Chimwenwe into Martin Odegaard. Oh, and we lead 1-0 at home. What a counter-attack. That all came from Rams Dilly Dale. Ball up to Okoro. Up to Dragomir. Back to Okoro. Into Odegaard. And the finish. We are winning this Premier League title, ladies and gentlemen. 100%. Oh, Sinu FC. We're by far the greatest team. Little step over merchant. What's he doing? Little skills. Getting nowhere. Exactly. Just like Anthony. Oh, watch out. One more. McTominay of all people. Ramsdale. What a save. Ramsdale showing up today, baby. Oh, Jude giving the ball away. Giving the ball away. Lovely Botman. One of you's Koro. Slide tackle. Only 97 more to go. <laughs> oh, he's way offside, DAG. He's way off. Bring us that 90th minute, ladies and gentlemen. A 1-0 home win. Not the most entertaining of matches when it comes to Arsenal United. I mean... There's a few early chances in the first half, but overall, not too many chances. But we take a 1-0 win, 100%. Oh, no, Okoro with the assist to Martin Odegaard. The Emirates Stadium, loud and proud. Coming to the bench, EFL Cup against the Spuds. We might as well tuck, uh, chuck one more in this episode. I like you guys. I know you guys like some long videos sometimes. We'll chuck one more in off the bench. North London derby. Let's have some more fun. To be honest, I just want to keep playing some Okoro Jim Wenwe right now. <laughs> Oh, Dragomir, what a ball. Oh, I think this is like the, the quarterfinal, semifinal. Uh, maybe not semi, it's got to be two legs, but I'm pretty sure we're getting up there now. In the oh, why did he come off the bench? Why did we play one more? Oh, my God. Why did we play one more? Why did we should have just left it after the United game? We win on pens. We should have left it after the United game. He comes on. He gets injured. It is the quarterfinals. Okoro, sixth. Oh my god. Two months broken elbow. Are you serious? Why did we tack one more on? No one is not going to. Oh, they're not going to resign us, ladies and gentlemen. Or oh, two months later, please tell me they at least make the these easier on us. They still want 99 slide tackles. 35 at the least. I mean, that's going down from 200. I mean, money don't matter. So I might just accept that wage. Lock that in because we don't care about money, obviously. So if he can get another deal here, that'll be fine. He's done everything else. Just needs t slide tackles. Real Madrid's looking doable. Bayern Munich. Oh my god, half of excuse me. Um two months injured. Did we sign anyone else? Anyone join the gunners? Jude, Saka, DAG, Ramsdale, Berardi, Italian centre back. Uh another goalkeeper. Not too many signings. Okay. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We are currently uh, top of the league. Again, feeling confident in the league. We're in March, though. Uh, so only a couple more months of football until the end of the season after missing two months with a broken elbow. He'll come back with a new hairstyle. You know, it'll, it'll grow out a little bit, I'm sure, in the coming months. And we'll end the season. And hopefully, he'll stay with Arsenal. Maybe he will leave. Ladies and gentlemen, much of us always take care and peace. Uh, and also, before you leave, before you leave... Uh, click on one of these two videos. I think they're like up here. That left and right. They're somewhere on the screen right. <laughs> they are. Yeah, there you go. Click click on click on one of them. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you click on one of the videos, um, you can move on to the next one. Make sure you stay on this channel though. Reading's Kid channel. You know, subscribe if you haven't already. 50,000 around the corner. One of these. Hey. You know.